the time. It's 23.20. I'm a bit exhausted, but I'm so invested in this. It's actually quite good. I have to edit the other slides. Um, 14 out of 26. Um, it's pretty crazy. I'll show you guys the logbook that you have to fill in. So basically, this is my patient presentation thing. And it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff I still need to do. A lot of stuff that I still need to edit. Um, yeah crazy logbook outside and these are all the stuff that we need to fill in so i haven't filled any of these parts so you literally have to pick a condition and say how competent you are and if you're not competent where will you um learn all of that so you need to know all of these topics right generalized body pain so how to treat it how they present how it's diagnosed what are the prevention methods all of the shebang for all of these conditions so it's not just this page there's like it's up to page there's like 56 stuff so do you see this thickness all of these are like different conditions I don't know if you guys can see all of these are different conditions that's not all we needed to have seen 50 patients and you need to tell presenting symptoms um what diagnostic processes do they do be it an exam or like an x-ray or whatever and what the diagnosis is and what their therapeutic process is educate and advise writing a script and all of these have like codes so you have to do this 50 times so a patient can come with multiple conditions and you have to code all of them so this is what they gave us to code so literally digestive we could see that and this is what they do for the patient that's not all you need to record three red flag presentations from three different patients obviously you guys can see i haven't done that um ethical issues yes ethical issues three of those cases and to discuss patient individual and contextual issues incorporating the biopsychosocial approach in family medicine evidence-based medicine but you need one example of this you also need to list three examples of preventive care crazy and pharmacology so you take four conditions and what drugs doses as well as duration and that's it and then you get assessed by your preceptor who needed to have made a good impression on the doctor that i was shadowing because she has to mark me out of 50 i'll show you guys what that mark is tomorrow <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because of just of how we started off but how we built rapport so she has to give me a mark out of 50 basically that's it it's look at how thick this thing is and i'm not even done so right now i'm working so today's tuesday and i'm working on this presentation um it's due on on thursday and this stupid logbook that's half filled you guys just saw is actually i think it's due on friday but we have our asking as well that day ASCII is basically you have to learn oh you have to learn all of the material and this is everything that i need to learn by friday into their reading pack and i have to learn all of these things there's about 137 pages of just what the like the theories how to do a consultation which they will ask us in the ask on friday but i also had to learn all of the conditions that i saw basically the school competencies everything that i should be competent in all of these conditions i need to know all of them so it's not in the stuff in the reading pack hey um, measles so you can get any of the questions you need to know everything um, hello guys so today was our last day so today is wednesday the wednesday today here yeah. it was day six of us shadowing our preceptors or doctors that we were assigned to and they were supposed to mark us and assess us and as promised i'm going to show you guys what mark she gave she gave me of course i did anticipate that she enjoyed working with me and you can even see in the comments which i'm going to show you just now but um so today she was at casualty so i was not with her today i was with another very nice doctor she's actually the same doctor i think i told you guys about a patient who had like unstable angina she's the doctor who helped facilitate referral for him so of course i mean i did the normal things um ran an ecg on this lady who had ccf which is just basically um she was hypertensive so she was having um heart problems um interpreted the ecg the doctor confirmed i think i'm quite good with ecgs that's what i've learned i um, think internal medicine really did us did us good okay funny story 
our very first patient was actually here there at seven so the doctor only started consulting around nine he had a list so that before he walked in the doctor was like oh my god this is public we see a lot of patients we don't know their names she knows his name because he will come with a list of questions like i googled um is taking euromax and cavidolol um really a good idea like he will come with a billion complaints um complain about medicine a list of questions about which medications work it's actually funny that consultation took about 30 minutes and we had to check his prostate his prostate his psa level was five but obviously he, the patient was worried that the the father and the brother died of prostate cancer so of course it's normal to worry so we had to do a dre on him which is basically rectal examination he didn't might ask for it most people don't ask for it most people dread a digital rectal examination so it was quite an interesting case um the doctor had to explain draw stuff but shame um, the doctor is very nice, was teaching, and of course, I'm not such a shabby student, I help out and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, with that being said, yeah, so today, that was just my day, there was nothing else remarkable about today, to be honest. Um, but other than that, yeah, so now I'm back, I'm going to show you guys the mark that my preceptor gave me. So she marked me in the morning, um, before I went to shadow this, um, assigned me to. So I'll show you guys the vibes. Um, so actually this is the logbook, right? Um, so on clinical assessment, under communication and consultation skills, she gave me an 8. Basically, no, she gave me a 9. She gave me a 9. Oh, 8 to 10. Holistic approach, she gave me 10. Oh, I have a holistic approach. Nice. Making a diagnosis, of course I was struggling with that. She gave me an 8 out of 10. Clinical management, 8 out of 10. Because I'll be fumbling. I'll be fumbling that medication. Um, and in terms of managing um, complexity, well, health and comorbidities and drawing conclusions she gave me an eight which is and she gave me a mark of 43 out of 50 and you can see she for professionalism and block performance which is where i did amazing in so obviously because i was clumsy and careless <laughs> shame she gave me a nine out of ten i was very reliable and responsible you guys um 100 learning all this punctual that was me attitude oh come on 10 out of 10 guys she was very she really liked me hey this is evidence um communications and teamwork of course i told you that a patient said we work well together so i mean it was a 10 out of 10 and professional ethics and be okay i'm very professional very nice to the patients and this is her comments excellent student very interactive helpful forward thinking takes initiative and this is all the stuff that i told you guys was my plan and helped a lot pleasure to have around again another smiley face she's been drawing smiley faces all around <laughs> i'm so happy okay um so yeah tomorrow we have the patient presentation so yesterday i really pushed the only thing i have left is the echogram and the genogram i slept at two you guys two in the morning ah it was i was i'm still exhausted i think i need to take a nap but i'll just figure out my echogram at least draw the rough sketches because that's what's needed and then practice my presentation my logbook is still empty well some parts um i'll show you guys as i complete it and i haven't studied so today i woke up with the dream um it was a, as as if we were in a in the ASCII and they asked me a question that i saw but i didn't study at all and i was crying and i got a 23 percent and that freaked me out so the plan now before i take a nap it's currently 1 p.m is to do this echogram thing try to do some of the logbook things wake up study like i need to study honestly and i can't start the day before honestly i really need to study what i need to study for for tomorrow because i'm anticipating questions of the consultation so i need to study like consultation um different styles of consultations and those family things like there's quite a bit of studying that i need to do but also it takes care of the ASCII. so it's not like we're studying different stuff so that's what i'm planning to do when i wake up i just put dinner in the oven now all grilled everything because i don't have time guys trust me you will grill eva like i'm grilling everything vegetables meat because i don't have time to cook or chop anything that's my life but today was a good day i'm updating you guys a little bit later tonight um about my progress with all my plans so many plans but uh only god decides i'm doing but i am really planning because i got freaked out i was crying i was in the dream i was crying i don't want that to be my reality on friday and i kept telling you guys that's my biggest fear 
I don't fear the presentation much because I'll be reading and then they'll ask questions afterwards and then hey if I can't answer bro it is what it is eh but the ASCII bro like I'm really really nervous um so I, I know there's written and then there's two oral the oral ones are the ones I'm freaking out for but um, uh, one of my clinical partners uh, typed out this document because they keep reciting questions basically advised me so just before I left and was like no you do know your work I'm um, trust in, in your knowledge if you don't know it don't know don't lie just say I don't know or I'm not sure and she's like just breathe okay you'll be fine it's daunting it's two weeks and they want you to know every single disease when I tell you it's literally all of medicine in two weeks because anybody can walk in the clinic and you need to know all those conditions in two weeks from heart disease to diabetes hypertension skin problems female and male sexual problems a lot of osteoarthritis so every single discipline in in two weeks and you have to study that seeing the way that um, my doctor marked me it's kind of of course i did um tape it earlier that my plan what my plan was humble yourself how to deal with difficult people because this could have easily been the worst experience of my entire life so it's really how you approach things don't react respond be wise because now i absorbed stuff i learned from her enough about of course my ego you know what i mean you'd be like oh, this dog is being rude i'm going to be rude back because i did nothing of course you deserve that but it 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 doesn't serve you in any way um and i'm i'm more of i look at the bigger picture so here of course it's not an ideal situation but how can i make it better that's the attitude happy and she even said no this i've never given a student such high marks guys i got a 49 out of 50 and this is from someone whose reputation even at the hospital is not very good and also from what she told me obviously the previous students also don't have a good rating or reviews be wise be, be wise and smart and there are any like snippets of lessons in in my encounters and I actually regret because I've, I've learned a lot of stuff that I can't think of now. Um, beginning of this year. And it's just a shame that I started recording these. It was the end of my um, rotations. But anyway, time is never lost. There's still more stuff to... Obviously, sixth year is another experience. Maybe as I'm recounting my sixth year experience, I'll also be reminded of the things that happened earlier this year. So I think I'll be doing that. Juxtaposing those two situations and how the experience is... Um, um, and of course the experience also depends on the hospital and the doctors that you are assigned to so you never know actually so yeah man i'm happy <laughs>